to when we're streaming. Mm. Mm. We're live. Mm. Mm -hmm. What's up, y'all? Happy Friday to everyone. If you're new here, I'm Erica. This is Artist Till Death. And Jeff's over there. My director, I don't, I'm not sure where he is. Party for the live party, I guess. He's on, he's on a break. Oh, he's on a break? He knows what time it is. It's rude. But that's okay. Let him just live his little big boy life. He'll realize that his fans are waiting for him in a moment. Yeah, I can't tell you what that sounds like. Sorry. No, I don't. Really. So, today I want to do... So I've been doing the bigger smushes. Sorry about the ruckus. I do have the windows closed, but... Some people just don't respect the on-air time. I don't know. So, I've been doing the smushes, but I want to be specific about how I lay out the color and see if I can get a full of a rainbow. If that makes sense. I don't even know if that makes sense. Either way, um, if you're chatting, I can't see it. There all you people are. Sorry about that. Rachel, Susan, TG, Swampert, Cats, Martin, Diana, Jenny, Tammy. Anyways, this won't be a super long video. I guess the longest part will be mixing the colors, but I um, hope you all stay with me for it. should make that into like a purchasable shirt let me know <sighs> directors here come here big boy director so yeah, let's do this sorry about that uh, shadow there we go oh yeah Tink, everyone. Tink. Hey, Alberta, Canada. How you doing? Welcome. Where's everybody watching from tonight? I just had to finish mixing this real quick. While I'm doing this, if you guys haven't subscribed, please do so. If you are pretty sure you subscribe but aren't sure, just double check because YouTube likes to unsub people for my channel because jerks. So, just double check for me. I know this corner one is pretty dark. That would be super. So I'm only using these little drams. Is that a unit of measure? That's drams, not grams, right? I don't know what a dram is. Oh. Apparently, a half ounce is four drams. You're welcome. Knowledge. So, I'm going to mix. Arguably, way too many colors. I don't ever use this many colors. I think. Do as she says, not as she does. Hmm. Right? See. <laughs> I honestly. 
honestly, I think any more than four colors, particularly on something this small, so 12 inch, is way too much. However, YOLO. Today YOLO. Regular, just stick to four or less. As someone that sells their artwork, I'm telling you, the simpler and more elegant the piece, the faster it's going to sell. That's some actual science for you. So I'm not mixing up that much of each color. Put too much in there. I guess I'm going to use three drams or less. I feel like I'm just saying grams wrong. It probably sounds like that as well. I'm probably even mispronouncing it. Tammy, your parcel went out already. You should get it before too long. What are you guys talking about? Oh, medicine? Yvonne's in Sydney. I miss Australia. When can we go back? Are you guys open yet? Parcel, yes. Parcel. Hi. <laughs> uh, yes, so parcel. All right, here we go. First color I'm mixing up. I'm not doing red because it would be too abrasive for all of the other colors I'm using. I prefer softer colors when I do my rainbow pieces, and this one is not exempt. So I'm using some not true to rainbow colors, like I'm using this Cerise, I think. I'll double check. <gasps> Let there be light. That actually is a really good light. This is Debbie Shimmer from Color Passion. It's everywhere. Red and orange. I'm using John Shimmer from Color Passion for my orange. Ooh, mood lighting. Is it show? No. Who's what show? I have less shadows. So these are a little bit pastel out. Oh, I know it, Bowie. That's enough. Bowie. Bowie. I scared him. I know, but he's already gone. Whoever he was, he's gone. Okay, you don't need to make that sound. I just, I was even more pale. I scared myself. Okay, Bowie. Have an awesome time organizing, man. Just wish you would use these lights. They're, they're here now. Because I turned my, I don't like using these lights. Oh, well. Because they're too harsh. Thank you for turning them off. Bowie, enough. Okay, I am using bright yellow from Just Resin for my yellow. It turns to rain. What's happening? For green, I'm using lime sherbet. Did you guys know it's pronounced sherbet instead of sherbert? You know what? This is not the color I thought it was. This is, I think this is mint luster. Sometimes I can't read what's on my jars. Yeah, this is not the color I'm going to use. Because, um, can I think past you? So 
I'm using pistachio from Resin Art for my green. Thanks for fixing the lights for me, B. I'm just gonna do it down here since it's a powder. I don't want it to get on my that. Also, I really overload my powders. Just cause. Midwest is getting slammed. Lightning. I mean, that sounds just like Jeff. He hates the inconvenience of being cold. Oh, I didn't even mix all the rest of them. So this one is Debbie Shimmer. Very bright pink color. This is from Color Passion. And the orange is John Shimmer. Also from Color Passion. And then the yellow is bright yellow from just resin. Really, my hands are so not where I can get you down. Aqua C from Color Passion. I think I did. I heard you say that, Lisa. Again. Pennsylvania is 22. That's not a fun temperature. I use this one in my oceans if I'm doing a base cell ocean. And I'm using Lavender Dream from Color Passion as well. Hey, Roz. Don't do it. Staining my board. Okay. If you ever mix your pigments and it does this from resin art, not going to focus. Okay, cool. See how you can just see the particles suspended in there? That's no good. If that happens to you and you get pigment from me, uh, let me know and I will exchange it. Okay, keep going. Sorry guys, gotta grab another purple. Purple sapphire and mountain mist for the purple and the indigo. 
as thorough. Can a heat gun melt that? Unfortunately, no. That is a particle issue. And a heat gun will do nothing to fix it. Actually, in theory, it's literally important. I just threw that whole jar away. Well, it was basically done anyway. That's what it looks like if you mix a color art color directly into resin. It looks like that. If this one does it, we'll have to stop the video and make a call for this. It means I sent out a whole bunch of colors that shouldn't have been. Okay. We're good. Look at this color. I love a deep purple that has like that bright pink hue to it. So that's why this is one of my favorite colors. Cool. And so let's do a mountain mist as well. This is from the Galaxy line, so the particles are a little bit chunkier. And the sparkle in it is very much like um, Milky Way or Abalone. chunky it is because it still just melts right in there. Yeah, so mountain mist is like a lavender but with essentially the sparkle of abalone. You can see it even before it focuses that red and blue sparkle. Focus. In my head I'm willing it to focus but it's probably just doing nothing. Okay, we'll put this back there. See all the sparkles? That's what makes the difference between the lay down bowie. Um, that's the difference between difference in a regular dry paste from color nope, resin art and the galaxy ones. Sorry Dan, I'll do better. Hey Gail. Yeah, Tammy, the Aruba Sky, I always have to do the alcohol as well, but the particles for what I just had, I don't know that it would have, because it looked more like how the primary elements look in resin rather than how Aruba Sky looks in resin. Hope that makes sense. Thank you, Kim, for reminding everybody to smoosh the thumbs up by 10. What is that one? Jenny, are you talking about the white I'm doing or that last purple that I did? I'll go over the colors one more time in just a second. Tink. Mm -hmm. uh, no problem, Miss Tennant. I'll go over the colors again. This one is Debbie Shimmer from Color Passion. The orange is John Shimmer from Color Passion. Passion. I have a color obsession and a color passion line, so that's why I'm trying to differentiate between the two. The yellow is bright yellow from Just Resin. The green is pistachio from Resin Art. The blue is aqua sea from Color Passion. The lighter purple is Mountain Mist. It's the one that has the abalone rainbow sparkles in it. It's by Resin Art. And the darker purple is Purple Sapphire from Resin Art. The white is a titanium white. Mm -hmm. All these colors you can get on my website, artistill.com. 
Okay. Now I'm also trying to decide if I want how I want to apply these colors because what my idea is is I'm going to smush them and do a full 360 and hope that all the color makes it all the way. But I'm trying to figure out if I want to kind of like squiggle the color down or just put a drop in the beginning. What do you guys think I should do? I'm just going to put a bit of clear down so that my colored resin, tinted resin, will move over the surface more easily. Just doing a skim coat because I'm already going to have a lot of color down. A lot of resin and I don't want the resin to flow off the piece because of having just too much on. If you have over an eighth inch, uh, it's more likely to do that. So I'm trying to do this. Could have been a mix up. I've had a couple of those lately, Tammy. Um, yeah, the darker purple is the purple sapphire from Resin Art. I have a few of those in stock if you guys are in the market. I'm pretty sure I have a few of all of the colors I mentioned today in stock right now, in this moment. So what do you guys think I should do? Just apply dots and hope that they go the full way or should I add a little bit of a line all the way down? Because in my head I think the best way to do this is to have kind of a squiggle line of each color and then smush and spin. Welcome, hi, welcome. Thank you, Tammy. I get compliments on my rounds all the time. No, okay. I sent you a couple in your parcel or package so that Vamp doesn't give me sheets. Orion Slight 66, glad you made it. Also, does anyone else have uh, stemware specifically for arting? Just me? Okay. Moment of truth. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, I was thinking maybe I wanted to do the red on the inside and work my way out. That's not really true to rainbow. It's usually red on the top and then the purple on the bottom, yeah? Judy! I was going to do it inverted because I prefer purple, but... Let's go with Tradish for just for now. I wish I had a Lazy Sue Karen. That's fine. All right, let's get this show on the road. I'll try to pinch this little dram cup. Doesn't matter how it looks right now because it's all gonna change. Silicone sleeves sounds brilliant. Hey Clara, how you doing? <laughs> Alright, let's get this John Shimmer. I'm just going to overlap them slightly. Completely 
didn't snap that cup in half. Didn't have my own spray. Uh, green. Or pistache. Don't break. I promise I'm not aiming to make a tie-dye t-shirt. Blue. Okay, am I the only one that has to repeat the colors in the rainbow? Kind of like if you're trying to find a letter in the alphabet or find out how something's alphabetized, you have to go through the whole alphabet. When I do this, I feel like I have to go through the whole rainbow. It's probably just me. It's fine. Okay, I didn't break. Neat. So I'm going to, I don't know why I made this much white, put some white all over it because some of these are going to sell up. <coughs> all right, we're about to do the thing. I'm not ready. You're not ready. No one's ready. Y'all may be ready. Roy D. Biv, right? Whoa. Those colors make me look engaged. Mm. Just a little bit of heat, not a lot. I don't want to create any fluidity. What? I'm going to introduce even more bubbles when I like smush and pop, so. Mm, smush, pop, drag. Mm -hmm. It's my new smush, dance move. Show me how you smush pop. Yes. Turn. Okay. Pop. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Alright, I'm gonna add a little bit of pressure. Make sure we got full contact. Okay. Should I go all the way around or just part of the way? Yeah, do the full because you might get that fun circle around and then it's like that's where the fun is in the middle. The fun circle part, I like, is on the edge, normally. Yeah. Because then when you pop it. When you lock it. Pop, lock, and drop. Okay. We're going full. Wait, um, wheel the bottom. Is it moving? Mm -hmm. Not the full way. Okay. I just don't want it to turn to bush. I don't care. So we did a half turn. Um, you did more than a half turn. It's not possible because this hand would have been. I would have had to switch. I only did half. Okay. You may have to hold the bottom. Oops. You gonna hold this? Oh my goodness.
to say they're they're not mixed. I mean, these got mixed because I think you pulled it. But I'm trying. Well, I did overlap them, but apparently it's not enough. You didn't put any white down. Because a lot of these are base whites, so I just did this. Because a lot of them are from Color Passion. You want me to get you some gloves? I'm gonna have to have your help again. say there's fun parts like that one must say hey karma cat uh, Tammy I'm gonna do that if this doesn't work out in my favor all right try to get some extra like it's like it all goes towards the center I know should I like pull it up and twist it in the middle or should we like pull it apart oh my goodness It's like a rainbow explosion. I'm going to tell you guys that this bit is so fun. Okay, I think we can work with this. I think we can work. Maybe you should work with the pool. Like, because it does that, I would just slide it off. Like, maybe pull it and then slide it off. So then it, maybe then you get this crazy. I like that idea. I like how. It basically would be like a dual swipe. Yeah. Pop these boobles and see what we got. I'm very surprised at how non-existent the white is at this juncture. How fun, I wanna do colors. I wanna do something with these, these bad boys right in here. And I don't even like working with orange, yellow, or green. If you've been here any amount of time, you know that that's fact. Melted Skittles, that's what I call these too, melted Skittles. I just love this. Okay, so do you guys think I should let these ones live or do a smush and drag? Is that what we're gonna call it, a smush and drag? I think white out of the depth as well. Got one vote, you guys. Smush and drag or leave it to live. Maybe you want to go to drag brunch this weekend? What's up, LRB? Anybody in here new? Uh, jump in and say hi. I read in a group the other day, someone, I think it was in Tammy's group, they said, what's up with the live chats? Are those for like paid members on YouTube or can anyone jump in? I didn't know that was a, a, a point of confusion. So if you guys are watching and you've never commented, know that you're welcome to comment, say hi, introduce yourself, tell us where you're from, what your favorite medium is, because we're all family here. We're all fam fam. Oh yeah, vamp, I forgot about that. Did you guys know that vamp down? 
Vamp down. It is very Grateful Dead. All right, B, everybody wants me to do your idea. Do you want to help with it, or are you, you all set? You may very well be all set. Here it comes. Here. You should just try it on like two small ones. <laughs> well. I know, you might as well just do it. But it's I do, do want to like show you guys a whole bunch of these like fun splatters of color. I was telling him, I don't even like working with any of these colors. However, all of these look fun. Isn't that fun together? All right. So I'm going to add a little bit more color. Color. With a bit bigger of this, which I don't think will really matter because we're going to drag it. But why not use the resin since we got it mixed up, right? The white completely disappears. I know, but it's, I think, what's helping me with a lot of the cells, though. Mm. Bowie just keeps looking mm -hmm. underneath me for a, a Cheeto to drop. His dad likes to accidentally drop Cheetos. Smush it up high or just smush it regular and drag? What do you guys think? What's up, Tracy? More white on the edge away from the initial slide. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm going to all do extra white on the whole edge. How about that? All right. Color would stop. B, what do you think? Smush from up here? Like I think it'll it'll take up all your resin down here though. It'll scoop your resin. So start in the I middle and then in the pull. Middle, twist it, pull it out. Oh still twist, okay. I mean well no, don't twist, just do it. Just put it so that it it'll all just be one squishy in there, see the color coming out a bit. Do something else with it or let it live. These cells down here will continue to grow, by the way. so I could let it slide a bit. I hope it focuses, but if, in case it doesn't, there's a lot of different colored cells mm -hmm. popping up, like the pink on top of the orange and yellow. Wait for it, because it doesn't want to focus. Oh. There's 
different kinds of cells popping up everywhere. So, we're just gonna let this one live and we're gonna work on this bad boy over here. In fact, I'm gonna take this to the dust-free zone. Happy about this. Be right back. Crystal clear. Okay, even better. How much for the top one? Uh, 75, <laughs> including shipping. There's a whole bunch of tea tiny baby pink cells sprinkled into all these blue ones. Don't let it live. Outside bit here where we didn't put it in contact with something. Not cute. So maybe I'll put this white down and we'll swipe over the whole thing and hope for something awesome. Right? Because this honestly is when you want to experiment. This is when you want to try something new when stuff doesn't really work out how you thought it would. Cool. Just knock everything over behind me. Okay. So let's do just a Mondo swipe. I'll let all that pigment soak into the paper a little bit. let too much soak in. some of this gross color since I'm going to have to re-pour anyways. A little bit of a color that indicates that everything mixed together. This weird orange, browny, green color. Okay, so I'm going to put all these colors back down, put more white, and then we're going to re-swipe it. That's how we're gonna do. When was the last time you guys did a piece that didn't quite work out how you wanted it to? Italian drip. Y'all, if this one doesn't work out, I'll fog it and do an Italian drip for you. How about that? I know mine to my Pollock-esque application here. It'll look awesome in a minute. Just, just hear me out, okay? Okay. It's gonna be awesome, in theory. Down. 
don't mess around and pick up some of the other colors from behind it. so that I can Italian drip for you guys. Never seen a rainbow Italian drip. Well, I don't know how well it's gonna work now that I put so much white on it, but. Ultra matte, that's not what we need. Flat. Flat. It's looking kind of okay, huh? If it doesn't work, throw some Italian at it. Well, Jen's not here today. It does look a lot better. So you guys, will that be a lesson to everyone? Where there's resin that's still fluid, there's a way. Until this sucker cures, can we just focus? No? Those are fun. You guys, the contractors of the world are starting to get in on these colors. I had a contractor come in today wanting a bunch of my colors. Do countertop gigs. So you guys want the Italian drip, yeah? Hi, Marcia Leopold. Could you? <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. She asked, could you rent a smush in a stripper? And then corrected, whoops, meant a striped pattern. I'm so sorry. Girl, no worries. Um, I'm sure I could do a stripe pattern smush. Tammy, uh, when you ask what white is that, are you talking about because of the cells or what white I'm going to spray paint down or what? Just, just so I know what um, you're asking so I can best answer. Kind of cool as is, but definitely here to do demo on demand. If you guys want drips, I'm here photo drips. Your fingers have been drinking? Been there. So the cells are from the color passion pigments, not so much the white. And that they're presenting as not even white all of the time. It's white here because that's where the <clears throat> ew. 
that's where the uh, concentration of white is. But if you look further down, they are the colors of the pigments that weren't from color passion. So that would be the yellow, the green, and the purple, and the white. So none of the cells are the blue or the orange. Can you focus? Hello? I think I spend a third of my life trying to get this camera to focus. Literally. It's cute when it like comes into focus and then disappears. Okay, so we got the white cells, the yellow cells here, more yellow cells, some green cells. It's actually white cells on orange, white cells on pink. white cells, yellow cells. And that's because the reason for the cells are the color passion pigments that are under the pigments that aren't from color passion. So yeah, you guys still want me to fog it and Italian drip it? Can do. I feel like since we already have one piece that essentially looks like this one will Italian drip this one. For the people in the back that haven't seen this before, this is the countertop technique. Originally, initially. Are you doing a navy spray paint? I am not. I am doing a white gloss. It's important that if you're going to do this method, you want to go back and make sure? If you're going to do this method, that you use a gloss because The matte and the satin, the flats, is not is just not going to work. They're just going to kind of get chunky, chalky, gritty, and just break up a little bit. Not going to work for you the way you want it to. Tammy, they do, but you have to have heat. You can't just swipe it. Why? Why is my camera about her? to focus. Now it's having heart palpitations. I just got to turn off autofocus. Cool. Also, Tammy, she made a text and I'll go over a couple things with you. Um, so yeah, these bigger cells are from the base cell activators if you're in acrylic land. Um, or the base tints if you're in resin land. Because of those, there's a dispersion because of some magic that's in the color passion. Whatever colors on top of it are gonna give you bigger cells. And they're gonna grow to the size of your piece a lot of times. I have, I have some pieces, like I have a 40 inch in my kitchen that has quarter size cells. Focus is acting like a disgruntled pelican. No truer words, tubes. Okay, so I'm going to mist over some gloss white. This is by someone, Rustoleum. And then I'm going to fairly immediately do the Italian drip because you don't want this to fully dry. You'll have problems. Um, also, safety first, remove your wine from the overspray area. Take a sip for good measure. It's really cool how those cells take the color they go over, right? Okay. Also make sure that you shake it up so you don't just get propellant. isopropyl alcohol. This one has Milky Way in it, so we're going to see how that goes. Also, if y'all laugh at me for my Italian drip face, 
I'm not going to do anything. It's just going to, you just can't. But Rhonda always laughs at me for my Italian jerk face because I can't ever do it because I'm trying to like concentrate on getting my fingers because Rhonda is the queen of the Italian drip and she, I go like this and she's like, no, you got to like hurt your, you have to basically bloom your fingers like that and it hurts my hands so then my face shows it like that. I can't do it. Okay. You put some alcohol in your hands and then just. will continue to move and disperse if I get you zoomed in. I arguably put too much in there as it is. But you can see the particles. Because I have the Milky Way in there, you can see it sparkle as it still moves. If you guys want to do the Italian drip at home with Micah's, the rule is uh, I guess 15 grams of mica per 8 ounces of alcohol. And so I keep adding more, but I have oversaturated this with the alcohol. I should let it rest for probably another hour for best results but at least you guys know about that and you can do that at home also be advised that whatever color mica you have in there it will be on you so know that hi Debbie how you been bag of the stone coat mica is to eight ounces 91 percent yep um so this will continue to move and end up looking kind of like a granite what if we made rainbow granite thing i think that's what i'm going to do next time i go down to rhonda's we'll do rainbow granite i know there's like a peacock granite but i'm just saying we could make an actual rainbow granite but then I'm gonna use Rhonda's hands for the Italian drip because you guys, I'm telling you, like you have to, okay, you ready? I'm gonna give you a demo of how you're supposed to Italian drip. You have to like have the, have the A, you have to have that, okay? But then you have to let, okay, you have to turn your hand so that your knuckles are down so that when your um, alcohol comes out, it drips, okay? But your alcohol has to be able to come out. So you have to separate your fingers you can't just separate the middle ones, you have to separate all of them. <laughs> I don't even know which one's the bad one. Okay, wait. Think about, I don't know. Practice at home, okay? I'm trying to like watch in the camera so I can make sure I have it right. I'm not, I'm not like mean mugging you guys. I'm just trying to, uh, almost got it. I give up. Your drip is way better because of the facial expressions. I mean, if you got the face right, then sometimes life moves in a different kind of pattern. I know it's not the best pattern, <laughs> but I like the random shapes in it too, to be honest. And it looks better in person. And I like these shaded out dots that are in this situation. Anyways, practice your this. I can't do it, it hurts my face, it hurts my, all of it. 
talk like the Godfather. I don't even. I don't want to insult any actual Italians. Meh. Because I know I would, because. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm not the best. What's the line? Take the guns, leave the cannolis. It seriously hurts. You can't. It does kind of have a coral reef look, doesn't it? I'm not mad at it. I like the first one better. But it is what it is. Alright. While you guys are laughing at my struggles, I almost dropped it. It's fine. I got it. I'm going to take this to the desk free zone. So you talk to Bowie. I'll be right back. I don't want to do that. Huh. Me neither. <sighs> Wasn't that you? Thanks, Gail. Capiche? Nope. Leave the gun, take the cannoli. I, that was horrible. I apologize to everybody, Sicilian. I apologize to the Gucci family, to Lady Gaga, and to everybody else that's ever eaten spaghetti or bolognese. I profusely apologize for what I just said. clean up the paints right now or I'll forget and then um, the cats will walk in them and then that's a whole situation or situation um, YouTube if you can hear that music in the background I'm going to say it was a car driving by He's angry face. I don't even know if I have an angry face. But what does my face look like when I'm mad? Um, the same as when you're not mad. <laughs> Did you guys hear him? Great direction from Bowie, thank you. I'm so glad you were here, Kimo, and I could entertain you, and everyone else that's here watching. My goal is to either educate, inspire, or entertain each and every one of you. So if that happened, hey there, uh, please subscribe. I gotta make some noise, okay, ready? It's done. So if that happened, please subscribe, leave me a thumb, share a video if you could. We hit the 51,000 subscriber mark. So next goal is to get the play button. Can I just get it at Google? Nope. A YouTube play button? Google play. A YouTube play button? I guess it's the same thing since aren't Google and YouTube linked? Pretty sure. Um. You don't have RBF. You and Jeff are the only two people ever on the earth that have said that. Hey, you breathe so hard? Because you haven't said hi to all your adoring fans. You ready? That's my good boy. This is Bowie the director, and he's so cute. He's so cute, Bobo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Karma Cat, I'm going to do a better rainbow Italian drip. I just got to practice mine. Actually, what's going to happen is I'm going to, no. What's going to happen is, is I'm going to take this idea down to Rhonda and I'm going to do all the things and then I'm going to have her do this because I can't. Hit 100K within six months. That's all the crossing I can do. Thank you, Darla. So anyways, look forward to that. I will be down at her place for her next pro class, which is um, February 9th or 12th, I think. Dueling and Challenge Drips. Don't even go there because I'm going to have to have like a pitch dripper. Pinch? Is it pitch or pinch in baseball when they have like a substitute? I have to have a substitute dripper. We'll try to join the Facebook group if I haven't already. Join it. It's, uh, it's over here. I'll remind you to rain about RK3. I'm expecting you to be there, Vamp, so I don't break any more toes or other body parts. Thank you, Melissa. Pinch. I'm going to have to have a pinch dripper. See, my pinky didn't even want to, like, contribute to this one. Maybe I should just leave the pinky out because it seems to work better. Anyways, I hope you had an awesome time today. Had a great, fabulous Friday. <laughs> and... Yeah, if you have any requests, something you want me to try or colors you want me to put together, uh, leave them down in the comments. I try to read them periodically, you know, in my free time. Uh, if you've sent me an email, I haven't answered in like weeks because life, I've had to do a lot of extra things, working on a couple commissions. And so, yeah, I can only do an Italian pinch with a British pinky. We fancy, okay? We Italian drip with a British pink. Oh, well, I can't even do it anymore. Anyways, y'all are amazing. We love you guys so, so much. Please subscribe, share, etc. Hit the thumbs and bells and whistles. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Be kind to one another because you never know what's going, going through, especially in this. Remember, here at Artist Till Death Studios, even on a Friday night, we do the test. So you don't have to! I almost broke everything. Let me just put you back. He's kidding. He'll never know. He'll never know. What's the thing? He'll never know. They'll never know? They'll never know. Anyways, see you guys tomorrow. Bye! I said bye! <laughs>